All right, all right. Uh, here's the crew. We got the 6420 right here. Um, loader off. And a 4055 is unhooked from the baler. Baler's in here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Unhooked. So, we're going to take these. My dad's going to take the 4055. He'll be down here in a little bit. I'm going to go on ahead with the 6420. There he is right there. So, um, uh, we'll meet y'all over at Cecilia and get this show on the road. Yeah, I think I'd rather be in the back. In the back. So here we go. We got, I think there's two 4020s. That's a 3020 right in front of here. We got M's, H's, Super H's, 966. A lot of old tractors. And then we got a Alice Chamber D17 right there. 5425, a 6300, 2350. An old 620, and then here's what? Too bad, yeah. Hopefully not. All right. All right. So here we go. So I figured just to keep y'all updated, I'll just give uh, various steps or various legs of the journey. What we're doing now is we're coming down eight, Highway 86 in Sicilia. We just left downtown Sicilia. And uh, we're going down um, going down 86. We're going to turn left onto some road. I don't know. I don't remember what it was called, but you know, just follow the tractor in front of you is what it is. So, um, yeah. And then there's more tractors in behind me. And I'm running about D4. I'm running D4. About 12 mile an hour is what, how fast we go. But anyway, other than that, we'll um, just keep you updated throughout the journey. So, so I think I'll just show you a little bit of the corn around the area here. Um, let's see, this is Agrigold A6147 is this variety right here. You probably won't be able to see the sign, but that's what it says. Um, you know, the ears have dropped over. It, it looks like that's ready to shell. Same with that. Um, it looks like some good corn from right here, but, you know, this is what you see in Cecilia, Kentucky, is corn and soybeans. Um, I'll try to get to the soybeans. I'll try to find some soybeans here. There's some right there. Well, those are green. Those are still green, but we passed some soybean fields earlier, and they're um, they're all dry. Well, not necessarily dried up, but they're brown. They're brown. So anyway, so we're just chugging right chugging right along, and we'll see what happens when we get closer. There's a soybean field. There's a little bit of green stems out there, but other than that, that field's ready to roll. I mean, that's got to be an early variety of soybeans. Okay, here's the sign. Here's the sign coming up right up here. It's a Pioneer variety. Uh, as, they can, as you can, well, you can't tell, but they stopped up here at the top of the hill, so everybody can catch up. Let's see, what variety of soybeans is this? Uh, it don't say. It just says, Pioneer Science with Service, delivering success. So, I don't know, that's an early maturing variety, though. So. Alright, looks like we... I, I bumped it up to E4 range. So... Let's see what's going on. And yeah. Here's something you don't see. Sorghum. Yeah, that is sorghum. I, I've never seen that in my life. I have never seen sorghum. 
I didn't know it was able to grow in Kentucky, to be honest. Well, sort of. I knew, yeah. I know you can grow it, but, huh. I didn't know if anybody ran in a grew sorghum. Well, there's a field of sorghum for you. So. Yeah, and then you got some soybeans that ain't. They're starting to mature, and then corn up here on the left, there's a big grain. Up, we've passed three grain legs, green, three big grain farms with leg with legs on the grain bins. And so yeah, obviously we're in grain country here for Hardin County, Kentucky. That is, but you know that that's something I've never seen—a field of grain sorghum. There, you know, the field sorghum period. So, so yeah, we're just chugging right along. Uh, that's I sixty five for those people that know. We just went a little cross. We just went across there. And now we're now we're on uh Hardin County is divided up two ways. You got West Hardin County, and then you got East Hardin County. Divided up. By I-65. That's the way I look at it. So now we're on. We're in East Hardin County. I'm I'm kind of unfamiliar with this territory. To be honest, there's a back of patch down there. There's a creek right below us. Here's some more corn and everything. So, but yeah, we're venturing into East Hardin County, really. So. This should be interesting. There's some grain bins for you. Uh, I feel like I know who this is, but I don't know. Big John Deere 635 Draper head, and there's a 70 series combine sitting down there, but there you go. There's a big grain set up. So yeah, just some of the sights we're seeing. I have a little trouble trying to park here. Well, yeah, there you go. Okay, I I made a I made a mistake talking a bit while ago. When we passed over, what I said was I-65. That was not I-65. That was uh, Bluegrass Parkway, I think. That was either Bluegrass Parkway or the might have been the Western Kentucky Parkway. It was a parkway. It was not uh, I-65. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but I still I still uh, I still go by what I said, I-65 splits this county in half. It literally does. Uh, from East Hardin County to... East Hardin County to uh, West Hardin County. So, I mean... Sorry, my fault, but, uh, you know, I thought it was I-65. But then, some of the guys talking here is like, no, nah, that was question. That was a uh, Parkway. So, okay. Enough said. So, uh, we just went to a guy's farm and ate some hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff. Pretty good time. Pretty good time. Uh, I think I counted. We got like, I want to say almost 30 tractors. 
If not 30, it's um, it's close to 30. So uh, they're going about a 13 mile loop off the tra off the track. I'm going this way, heading back home. So yeah, bye bye. So yeah. So there you go. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed this little video of Lewis Crozier uh, Memorial Tracker Run. Um, do it again next year, hopefully, and that'll be that. So I don't know what's going to go on farm-wise uh, this week. We're probably going to start cutting hay and. I don't know, if the corn's dry enough, we're probably going to start shelling and picking, so you have to wait and see what happens, so catch y'all later.